in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's B! With Face to Face, February edition, the superhero edition, and yet personal edition. Which is the green of something. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I, I am a geek, I'm a cornball, I'm a dork, as my wife calls me, but I love it. And she loves it, too, because obviously she wouldn't marry me if I wasn't one. Um, and that's what it, it comes down to. Well, first, let's let's start off right at the bat. New games coming out for February. We've got, um, or at least the ones that I'm talking about, uh, Thief in two weeks. I'm picking that up. Um, I'm going to try to do some videos on that, too. I want to see how the game works first before I even decide on how to do that and stuff like that. So I will keep you informed on that, and I'll let you know how the game is, and we'll probably do, like, a have you played. Um, what else is there? In Next week is Final Fantasy XIV on the PS4 beta version. Uh, it's going from February 22nd to March 3rd or March 4th, I believe. So that's... Oh, March 4th, that's right. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Excuse me. I've done this 30 times already. <laughs> I just can't say everything I want to say within, like, I'm trying to keep it 10 minutes because I don't want to keep you guys on here for, like, 20 minutes talking my head off and stuff like that. Because I know on YouTube there's so many people that are just like, oh, my God, it's been 15 minutes. I can't take any more of this. And and it happens. And, you know, and that's what that is. But I want to try to really cut down what I want to talk about for this one. So, anyway, um, back to that. So, Thief, Final Fantasy, and then that's really it. And then we'll get into March stuff. We've got Infamous. We've got, uh, I think it's March's uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 on the Vita. Oh, speaking of Vita, I'm playing a game called Tukadin. I think I said that right. I don't know if I did or not. Age of Demons. Really fun game. Uh, it's very Monster Hunter-esque. It's very Japanese-oriented. Uh, very cool. A lot of different weapon styles. You build your own armor, things like that. You run around with... Uh, you can actually... You can meet up with people online, or you can run around with NPC, uh, AI NPCs and stuff, and they're pretty good. They do a good job. They come and they heal you. You know, they come and they resurrect you if you die and stuff. And so that's cool. So check that out. I'll try to do a have you played on it. I don't know what footage I can get for it, but I'll see what I can do. Um, so going to the this, breaking this whole discussion down, I've been overwhelmed um, and I've kind of lost my passion, and I'm going back to that. Uh, when I first started doing this for you guys, and uh, and again, I do these videos and I do this stuff because there's a couple reasons. The first reason for one, I don't make any money. I do this for the community. I get no monotonization. I do do any donations, nothing like that. Uh, and this isn't a full-time job, obviously, because if it was, it'd be a lot more videos all the time. Um, I do these because I'm very passionate about the gaming community and about gaming in general. I'm very shy outside of all this. Um, when I go to a bar and stuff, I'm not the, your current event guy. I'm not your sports guy. I'm not your um, political guy. Uh, and that's fine. If you are, that, that's nothing. But I've, I've had instances where I've talked to those type of people, and they've asked me what I do outside of work, and I explain the things that I love. And they just shrug me away, or they don't care. And you never know if you're going to meet that person. Or you never know. Rare occurrences, you meet that person that's definitely into that stuff, and then you have a full-on conversation, your friends on Facebook or your friends on Twitter or whatever, and that's awesome. But you do have those occurrences where you meet those people that would be like, haven't you ever grown up yet and stuff like that? And that's fine. I'm a very balanced and earth-bound person. And if you were to say that, I'll defend my beliefs, but that's I'm not a confrontational person either. I'll basically defend my beliefs, and then I'll walk away, and that's it. I have nothing more to do with you, you know, and if there's a common ground we can find, sure, that's cool. But with all that said, I do these things because I can be me. Uh, obviously with the voices, with the singing sometimes, with the crazy jumping out of the sky into the chair, um, the, the things you have seen, the voices I do for the RPG stuff, that's what I'm passionate about. Um, that's what I love bringing to the community. That's what I love bringing to these videos. That's why I love doing these videos in general. When I got the chance last year to finally buy a capture card and start doing this stuff, I went completely outside the box and was like, well, I'm not going to do Let's Plays. I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then the PS4 came out, and I couldn't really do that because I moved my setup. My Xbox is now in the other room. We use it for watching like Netflix, play games once in a while. Uh, still got Minecraft on there. My wife you know, plays that and things. Um, the PS4, I can't archive stuff and I can't make videos out of yet, although I finally figured something out, and you can look it up on Google too, and I'm not going to get into all that, but, and that that's good, that's a good thing, because I can start finally doing some stuff I want to do again, um, 
and that's what happened. I overwhelmed myself because I said, okay, well, I can't do all this anymore. I'll just do Let's Plays. That didn't work out. <laughs> um, in terms of, like, if I go on Twitch and I play Battlefield 4, I play Killzone, I'm not a good player. I'm not horrible, but I'm not... You can hear it in my voice. I've done this like 30 times. <laughs> if I had a blooper reel, man, woo-wee, you'd hear some interesting things. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to try to make one of those sometime. But considering all that, I'm not a fantastic player when it comes to that. I love playing Battlefield 4. I love playing Killzone. But I play them to play for fun. And the I'm not a competitive person. Never have been. I'm not. I'm not big on competitive. I don't shy away from it, but I'm not a, you know, if I was to sit down and play Mortal Kombat with you, I get a little competitive, but if I'm playing a game, like, I don't play a game to master it. I play a game to enjoy it and immerse myself into the world. It's the way I've always been. That's why with military shooters, things like that, FPS shooters in general, it's only so much immersion you can do. That's why RPGs have always called out to me. Naming your character, your name, being that, getting into that story and doing that stuff. It's like, yeah, that's that's what I love. Playing a horror game, immersing your, falling, putting your headphones on, putting the lights out, falling into that world and feeling like you are that character walking down that hall, l looking out for that zombie to pop through a window, whatever the, you know, that immersion has always been a passion of mine. And that's what I love making videos. Like when I first started doing all this, the, the have you, you know, uh, let's scare B, uh, the RPG immersions, like when I was doing the Fallout voices and the uh, Dragon's Dogma voices and stuff, the cheesy stuff and things like that. It's my passion and I love doing it. And I brought that back. I did a DC. I made up a character by the name of Tom Teller. He's a news reporter. I took a battle where my hero fought Felix Faust with, uh, sorry, just look out the window real quick where he, uh, Zantana helps, and I did a little news report thing on that. came out awesome. I hope everybody's going to like it. It's on the YouTube. I'll put the link down below uh, and stuff like that. But I overwhelmed myself with the other stuff. And with that said, I also locked myself in with that schedule on Twitch, and that also overwhelmed me too. This, all this was like basically killing my passion for this stuff. And, and I realized if I was doing this full-time, it would be fantastic. But I can't do that. <laughs> I just, I don't have the resources. I don't have the time. I have a full-time job. You know, I have too many things to worry about where I need to stick to my full-time job, my responsibilities. I can't just get up and be like, I'm going to be a full-time Let's Player. It just doesn't work. For those who do it, my hat's off to you because you guys kick some major butt. You do some fantastic work. There are certain ones that I subscribe to. I'm not going to say who they are per se and stuff like that. Um, I'm not giving shout outs because there's just too many of them. There's some fantastic people I watch. I like your videos. I comment on your videos sometimes. And if you ever watch this, you know who you know you know who you are. You'll see Elemental Storm up there and you, you know who you are. And keep it up because you guys do a fantastic job. And that's why I, I want to stick to my niche, my outside the box thing of the RPGs and stuff like that. Uh, and with that said, I'm changing my schedule on Twitch. Jeez, there's a surprise. Um, just doing Monday through Fridays, 8.30 to whenever. Uh, they could be any day through the week uh, or any days. Like I could do two or three days, you know, whatever, four days. It all depends what's going on. Um, and they're going to be more RPG games, more open world games, and more horror games. Uh, I can't archive anything as of yet off of Twitch. Hopefully that will come down the line. But for now, come check me out. If you want to know when I'm streaming, I'm going to plug myself here. Uh, join my Twitter or subscribe to uh, my Twitch channel. They're all free, no credit cards involved, nothing like that. And it will basically give you a thing that tells you when I'm doing that and stuff, so check that out. Uh, for videos, I'm going to be focusing back into my RPG stuff, doing the immersion of my voices and getting into the games. Now that I learned how to finally take some stuff off of Facebook, uh, off of uh, PS4 and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all that. Now that I've learned how to get the videos and I can do some work on them, I'm going to do that more. Um, and then, of course, Have You Played, because I know you guys like the Have You Played, you know, want to check out the certain games and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, so, we converse the new games. I told you guys a little personal aspect about me. Uh, what's going on? Of course, it's a face to face if something isn't changing, right? <laughs> Hopefully, this is the last time. I'm, I'm tired of coming on every time and being like, I almost sound like I'm just this monotonous guy. It's like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it. You know, it doesn't work. 
stick to what I do, stick to what I love, and that's what I'm going to stay with. Um, and then hopefully that works out. Now we're hitting 10 minutes, so we're going to finish this up. Uh, on the comic book front, I've subscribed to Superman, uh, Batman the Dark Knight, and Justice League. Loving those so far. Um, I'll, I don't know if I'm going to do reviews per se, but we'll, maybe we'll talk about storylines, things like that, come later on. Uh, like I said, with now with my wife going to the gym, which she's doing a fantastic job, I'll be taking this laptop more and trying to do some more face-to-face -face stuff, not just the face-to-face -face every month, but like topic stuff, uh, talking about RPGs or talking about this new game coming out, things like that, you know. Uh, hopefully having discussion in the comments uh, back and forth, because I will be watching those and I'll try to comment when I can. Um, and things like that. Uh, beyond that, I joined Gamefly. I uh, played Batman Arkham Origins. Good game. Definitely recommend it. Uh, if you like Arkham Asylum or you like Arkham City, fun game. Troy Baker did a fantastic job with the voice of Joker. And I really love the story, how the two of them meet for the first time. and uh, It's just really cool. Um, it's good work. Good work. All. I know the reviews weren't perfect, but it's definitely a fun game. Um, some hard boss battles, too. <laughs> Woo-wee! But good game. Fun game. Um, and then beyond that, that's really it. So that's what I want to come on and talk to you guys about. This is uh, Face to Face with B, February edition. I'll see you guys hopefully before March. Um, if not, check out my DC Universe video. Um, it'll be down in the comments. I'll try to make more of those. Uh, and we'll just go from there. Um, and that's it. I'm back to my passion. I got it this weekend. I, I jumped on DC and I went, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to do it. And yeah. So that's it, guys. Keep gaming. And uh, ooh, PAX is coming up in two more months. I'm hoping I get to be an enforcer for it because I actually want to work it and help volunteer and get to meet a lot of new people. So I'll keep you in the loop on that. Um, and then when I get back, if, if I'm able to go, if not, I'm going to just try to get a ticket in general. I think maybe I might be able to, but we'll see what happens. Um, if that's the case, I'll let you guys know what happens and we'll go from there. And now we're hitting 12 minutes. I don't want to keep you guys on here any longer because I know some people are just like, oh my God, i got to get off this video. Or you've already shut it off and well, whatever. And uh, so keep gaming, guys, and I will talk to you later. All right, take care.